Hello, hello for you. Today we're going to be looking at RPG Maker MZ News, how new battle system and stuff has been released, and at the same time, some previews of the graphic engine things. As you can see, there's some layers in there, four layers in fact, and uh, this might be some good news for the mappers out there. You know, we have been wanting to see RPG Maker XP sort of ma uh, mapping for a long time. We don't still have auto tiles, but we do have now more layers and I think it would help our RPG making experience. If you want to see more RPG maker content here, subscribe on the channel, like the video and share the video. It does help. And yes, I had a vacation. These are not the newest of the news, but I'm starting to do now actively videos. So hopefully you're interested to see all sorts of RPG maker shenanigans over here. So let's first look at the Steam page how it has upgraded from the last time. One of the things that, as you can see, is basically the battle system. Let me put the audio off and look at how it looks. So basically, you know, if this is the, like the normal battle system from the get-go, it's not that bad. The windows are not really my favorites. Animations look a bit better. There's, uh, sim uh, there, there seems to be, let me just actually uh, stop in here. There seems to be some sort of like an active time battle system meter going on here. I don't know, is it like from a plugin or is it from the default uh, thing? Because usually it's a turn based thing. Let me actually see. So, it seems to actually go up a, li a little bit. Yes, I suppose. Some kind of a, like a active time battle system sort of fashion. I don't know how that works. These anomali anon anomalies are surprising nimble. Yeah, so, and, and then the face graphics look also very nice. I, if, if I zoom a little bit in, um, I, I look at the graphics themselves. I do like the mushroom and battlers, or the battle uh, backgrounds as well are very, very, very nice. Little jungle area. And the characters themselves are this sort of like... Uh, Simple, but the still lovely looking sprites uh, from RPG Maker is usually seen in RPG Maker and V and so it's going to be looking and uh, going through that line. I don't know. I uh, have they new parts. They might have some new parts in them. I don't know. Are there uh, player made ones? We shall see. So we go forward, he gets some damage. I don't like the windows too much, but you know, otherwise I think you can customize them if you want to. Here we go. We go forward. Nocturnal stance. And uh, yes, otherwise I, I don't see too much problem on the battle screen. Can we see any new information here? So that stat things, you know, even in RPG Mega Amv you could have those like things over there over you know the enemies so you can see what uh, status ailments they have i think you know you need a lot of enhancement in order to make this uh, very good one oh you can actually have a weather in here very very nice let me see how that looks on here uh, animation are much more smoother they might have uh, used uh, more time to make those smoother looking yeah like that i like that i don't know about sound effects usually they don't upgrade too much of the sound effects uh, let me actually see can we hear that I, I suppose they... I, I will look at the finished product to look at that. But I tell you now, the uh, as you can see, oh, the weather changes. Well, kind of a simple weather change. I have some plugins with RPG Maker and I can actually achieve this, what they are doing here, without too much of a problem. But we are going forward. Godless Blessing. Here we, here we see. Here we see. So Elliot is now in active mode. I don't know what they did there, but you can do this with RPG Maker MV even. So, you know, they have some battles going on here. I know, I, I, I like it, you know, the default one looks alright. You can actually make uh, some pretty okay things without uh, any much plugins there. Also, let's go on this. This is the, you know, the announcement trailer. Actually, we saw map making and such, sprite making. And I like the custom character looks on here. Yes, yeah, very alright looking. And I suppose that's it from here. I don't know, have they added anything else? Like these are just... Oh, actually, yeah, there are some things in here. The battle backgrounds, again, are very gorgeous looking. You know, look at that. Just kind of like a grassy field on uh, that sort of place. Not bad at all. Visually, I do like it. But, you know, the systemly, I have no idea yet. And as you can see, these are these seem to be the main, uh, like, the default character types. There has this sort of Ralph, and then there's, like, this girl, and then there's a witch, and then there's this person here. Not bad at all. I suppose we are going to be seeing a lot of people using these default sprites as they are still not uh, known for the outside world. Uh, people are going to be putting that to their games. Who knows? I might be doing that. And you can have even frontal battles at the same time. 
I like that. I hope they have uh, no plugins for that one. At least it's built in. And in the villages looks pretty all right at the same time. So no problems in there. One well, other things is as you can see, there's this new layer thing. And as you can see, it's uh, it's pretty handy. I would I would very much use that for my own projects. Uh, I think there's a lot of use for that. Also, when we go down, you can see that there's some show text things that let's say events and the player are now selectable locations on the get location info command. All right. Wait for completion checkbox. Uh, so show text command has added a name box field. No longer a plugin needed to uh, just an ID of the character speaking. Ah, oh, very good. So you can just like, hey, this is the player we have, and uh, he, there's what he says. I like it. It makes everything simpler, but it's still nothing like a groundbreaking. Perhaps for some like people that don't use that, uh, this is actually what I'm uh, very happy to see. So more substantial change to event editor is the preview move root option more easily see how your event will move with a press of a button and i like that i and that's of course not the most like the biggest change ever i, mean, I think you know that there, there's some young fly movement plugins that actually do help uh, uh, to like uh, realize your movement needs uh, quite easily with RPG Maker MV, but as you can see, there's like this that you can see how they move and such. I suppose uh, it will save time, and I think time savers are not no problem at all when it makes the games because it will take some time. And there's a lot of graphics in here. I like these graphics quite a lot. I'm going to be using these. <laughs> I tell you, that's one of the reasons I'm actually purchasing this. Uh, they are some good ones. And they are they are still fresh. When they're fresh, people don't know them, and you can use them without uh, just getting this feeling that hey, that's RPG Maker MZ parts there. So that's good, and uh, not proud bad at all. There's a dogs, even a pig. I didn't uh, did MV have a pig? I think it did not. And I like the you know the anime look. They look very anime. Yes, and the creatures look alright as well. Parallaxes, I don't know, are there new ones? They usually don't have new ones. They might have, who knows. Uh, b b b one of the things I do like in here is, uh, let's see, tilt idle screens, all right, that's not a big issue. Uh, the music is interesting to see. They have uh, 300 sounds. If I remember right, there's like, uh, in a normal RPG Maker MV, it's like 100 or 200 sounds, if I remember right. I don't uh, remember from the back of my head, but uh, I want to see some new sounds, because they haven't updated sounds in millions of years, and actually making sounds is not that hard of a job. I actually do that as a kind of a main job, making music and sounds. So yes, I would like to see that happening. I like the battlers very much. The dragon looks like pumped. God damn, that dragon looks pumped. What are your thoughts on these new news? I think uh, we're going to be seeing some good stuff when going forward, especially, like, you know, the lackluster they kind of had in the before kind of lackluster news. But at the same time, like, uh, let me tell you, like, this news actually, if they're still showing a bit more after this, if they so show, like, uh, uh, much, much more substantial things, uh, still, then I think it actually will be a worthwhile addition. Might be, but uh, it's still, I'm going to be sticking with MV, to be honest. MZ looks good with its visual side of things, but I think the best things they could have had it, or will add, I don't know, should be the systems themselves, because, you know, uh, there's, there's some things people have been wanting for ages for RPG Maker that has already been part of uh, early RPG Makers. Like, you know, in early RPG Makers, you had a default option to actually freeze time everywhere and this sort of stuff, and, and all these sort of things I wish we would see in the newer ones. And I think they would be that those could be the kind of a system sellers, because, because you know, making sure that you have this sort of system that we're actually going to be talking in later on in this channel. We are going to be looking at HRBG makers and see how they work. I think uh, those could sell the system for the newcomers even because they look at the RPG Maker MV and MZ say, oh, RPG Maker MZ has a lot of stuff in there. But of course, that's just me. Uh, let me know your thoughts below. If you want to see some new, R some new RPG Maker content, we're going to be doing that now quite often. Subscribe for the channel. And let's see you in the next video. RPG Maker this says goodbye.